In our previous lesson, we tried to focus on the concept of resources and also differentiated between natural and man-made resources. We also understood how time and technology enhances the utility of a resource and converts it into a more valuable one. In today's lesson, we shall try to understand the meaning of renewable and non-renewable resources and also understand how we can conserve these valuable resources. So, let's begin today's lesson. Well, here we have the pictures of top three best-selling brands of electric cars or EV cars in India. And these brands are namely Hyundai Kona EV, MG ZS EV and Tata Nexon EV. So these are the top three best-selling EV cars in India. Now, unlike ordinary cars, EV cars as its name suggests run on electricity because EV stands for electronic vehicles or electric vehicles. Now not just four wheelers but these brands also manufacture two wheelers that run on battery. Now it has been estimated that the sale of EV cars will soon outshine the sale of fuel cars and will also take up 50% of the world's share of car market very recently. Now, why do you think the demand of EV cars is rising so sharply? Well, electric cars as we know run on electricity whereas ordinary cars or fuel cars run on petroleum or diesel etc. Now these electric cars or EV cars are better than ordinary cars because they are less polluting and eco-friendly because they do not release harmful and toxic gases unlike ordinary cars. So this is the reason why the demand of EV cars is rising sharply in the market. Another fact is that fuel cars or ordinary cars use resources like petrol, diesel etc. as their fuel and the stock or reserves of these resources is very limited. Whereas EV cars runs on electricity whose source can be air, water, sun etc and the reserves of these resources are unlimited. So we find that it is more sustainable to use electric cars or EV cars than petrol cars and this is the reason why the demand of EV cars is rising sharply. So now we shall try to focus on these two types of resources. As mentioned just now, there are some resources like coal, petroleum, natural gas etc whose reserves are limited and these resources are known as non-renewable resources. So non-renewable resources are the ones that are present in limited quantity and cannot be replenished or regenerated in our lifetime and because of this reason they are known as non-renewable that is they cannot be regenerated again. Now why these resources cannot be regenerated or replenished? Well, millions and millions of years ago, non-renewable resources like coal and petroleum were formed from the remains of dead plants and animals. These remains got buried under the earth and formed a layer of sedimentary rock. It is from this layer of rock that these minerals like coal and petroleum are extracted. So 
In this video, we find that minerals like coal and petroleum take millions of years to form, which is far beyond the average lifespan of a human being. And it is for this reason that the stock of these resources cannot be replenished once they are exhausted. So, this is the reason why supply of non-renewable resources is fixed or limited as they take millions of years to form. However, not all resources are present in limited amount. For instance, take the example of water. We have unlimited supply of water in our planet. This is because of the process of water cycle. In the process of water cycle, we find that the water present on the earth's surface evaporates as water vapor form clouds and eventually comes down as rain and again goes up and again comes down as rain. So there is a continuous and unlimited supply of water in our planet. Now just like water, there are some other resources that are present in unlimited amount or their supply is unlimited that is they are plants, air, sunlight etc. So all these resources that are present in unlimited amount in our planet are known as renewable resources. And as I just mentioned, the stock or supply of renewable resources is not limited, rather it is unlimited and we shall always have these resources in our present as well as in our future generation. So unlike non-renewable resources, the stock of renewable resources is never ending or it will never get exhausted. In fact, if you cut down a tree, you can again grow it within a month or so. So, renewable resources are naturally replenished in short interval of time and because of this, the supply of renewable resources is unlimited or never ending. Now, these renewable resources are quite valuable to us and provide us with cleaner source of energy. For example, we can obtain hydroelectricity from water, wind energy from air and solar energy from sun. And the better part of this cleaner energy is that they are obtained from a source or a resource which are present in unlimited amount. Again, plant is another example of renewable resource. Plants are also quite valuable for us as they yield timber. Plants are also used for manufacturing paper, tires, etc. Thus, we find that natural resources can be classified into two types, renewable and non-renewable resources. Renewable resources are abundantly available to us. Some of the examples of renewable resources are wind, sunlight, water, plants, etc. Various non-renewable resources are present in limited amount and some examples of these resources are coal, petrol, natural gas, etc. Now, both these resources are equally valuable to us and there is a need to use them judiciously so that even our upcoming generations can enjoy these resources. Now, let us see how can we conserve these resources. Now, before proceeding with our lesson, let us try to answer this question. Which of the following is a renewable resource? And the options given are coal, petroleum, natural gas or plants. Well, we just learned that coal, petroleum and natural gas take millions of years to form. So, their stock or reserves on planet earth is limited. Whereas, plants take maybe a month or a year to form. So, 
plant is an example of renewable resource. So the correct option is plants. Well, an important way in which we can conserve the resources is by applying or following the strategy of three important R's. And here, three important R's stand for reduce, reuse and recycle. Now, let us focus on each of these strategies in details. Well, by reduce, we mean less use of non-renewable resources. Or, in other words, we should minimize use of non-renewable resources. For instance, we should turn off the lights were not in use. That is, before leaving the room, you should always switch off the lights and fan. Again, you should use maximum daylight. So, in these two ways, you will be able to save electricity because a major source of electricity comes from coal, which is a non-renewable resource. Also, vehicles mostly use non-renewable resources like petroleum, gasoline, etc. Now, in order to minimize the number of cars on roads, you can share your ride, that is, you can opt for car pulling. Also, you can walk shorter distances instead of driving. So, in these ways, you will be able to minimize use of non-renewable resources. Also, instead of using non-renewable resources, you can switch to renewable ones. For example, instead of using coal as a major source of electricity, we can use hydroelectricity, wind energy and solar energy. Now, although renewable resources are present in unlimited amount, but it does not mean that we can misuse these resources. This is because although water is available in unlimited amount, but there is a scarcity of fresh water on earth. Even resources like plants need attention because it just need a single day to cut down an entire forest, but it takes years to build a new forest. So, both renewable and non-renewable resources must be used very judiciously so that we can even preserve them for our upcoming generations. Well, the second strategy in which we can conserve the resources is by following the strategy of reuse, which means using resources or things again and again. Here in these two pictures, we can find how plastic bottles can be reused for gardening and for storing things. Also, we can reuse old newspapers in order to make shopping bags and this can be a good alternative for polythene bags. The third strategy in which we can conserve the resources is by recycling the waste. In this strategy, we are supposed to collect deformed and discarded metals plastics and glass in three separate cans and then these substances must be taken to dedicated factories for recycling. So instead of using fresh plastics, metals etc, we can reuse old and discarded ones. So by reducing, reusing and recycling resources, we can conserve them and this act of using resources judiciously and providing enough time to get renewed is known as conservation of resources. Conservation of resources eventually leads to sustainable development which refers to minimizing the use of resources in present times in order to allow them to regrow so that even our upcoming generations can use them. 
so conservation of resources simply means sustainable use of resources and we can accomplish this by following the strategy of three important arts that is reuse reduce and recycle so that's all about today's lesson in this lesson our main focus was on renewable and non renewable resources we understood the differences between these two we understood that renewable resources are present in unlimited quantity whereas non renewable ones are present in limited quantity and this we also focused on how we can conserve the resources don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon you can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the delta step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus master each topic with our adaptive practice technology get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests get all your doubt resolved instantly learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy but it's rewarding too so register for free now